Hi everyone, it's Miles here again. Um, I just want to uh, update you on my uh, hydrogen fuel saw that I made. Um, the last one that I showed you on the uh, on the video was with uh, with aluminium plates, and I did a lot of testing and everything, and it does not work. So if you're ever going to do a do a um, dry fuel cell please do not use aluminium I've tried it with um, with a lot of chemicals and most of the chemicals just burn the uh, aluminium plates and uh, what else did I use I used a few other bits and pieces but um, even baking soda and I used a lot of baking soda and it still didn't want to fizz so um, yeah I don't I don't recommend using aluminium plates now this is my new um, generator that I made as you can see it there it's a uh, 28 plate generator with negative plates negative four plates and positive four plates and in between the negative and positive are three neutral plates. Okay, I've connected to my bubbler here. Going into my air intake. I'll just turn the engine on and you can see how it works. And we'll see how many amps it's drawing. Okay. There you go. Can we see it? Okay, it's drawing about 12 to 13 amps. It's going up and down, which is normal. Okay, we'll go and see the uh, generator working. There it is. Bubbling away beautifully. They're stainless steel plates inside. They are not aluminium plates. I don't recommend aluminium. I've tried it, I've tested it, and it does not work. Whoever says it does work, they're bullshitting. This is a perfect example. I even done it on my last video. My last video shows me using aluminium plates. So don't use them. And the hoses that I'm using are 10, uh, 10 millimeter hoses. So you can see how much hydrogen it's generating through these thick hoses. There you go. It's all working. There's a wiring if anyone wants to have a look at the wiring negative and positive positive is the uh, brown wires negative wires are the blue ones thanks for watching comment subscribe see you in my next video